Hi, I'm Darshit from Lead Connect. Today in this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a pipe drive contact using Lead Connect Zapier integration. So let's begin this demo. First, I will start this by creating a zap. So let's go to Zapier and create a new zap. Okay, so here it's asking me what you you need to do to trigger your zap so I'm going to search for webhooks here they are select webhooks and my triggering event would be catch hook okay continue now it gives us a webhook URL so you need to copy this URL copy this and open your lit connect extension go to integrations and paste the url over here in webhooks by zapier and send a test okay so sample data has been pushed okay so now i will go back to my zap and hit continue and it's asking me to test our connection from Zapier's end so I will click here on find hook and you can see that we have received a sample data which lit connect has sent so here you can see that from whom this message is education company lead source owner full name occupation response picture and all the other stuff you need to know about your prospect okay so now we will head done editing and now we will add a uh, action so we need to create a pipe drive contact okay so here it's pipe drive and here it is asking me to choose an action event so I'm going to yeah, create a person okay continue it's asking me to select a profile I already have integrated my profile over here so I'll select my account and continue okay so here are the details which you need to enter for your prospect so it's asking me for the name so uh, I will take the full name of my prospect the second thing is owner so who would be the owner of this prospect so let's say I'm not working with the team right now so I will select that I am I myself am the owner of this prospect here it is asking me for the organization so I do need to add an organization for my prospect so I will add a search step over here so add a search step so it's giving us a uh, some explanation so okay I will add it and yeah here it is find organization in pipe drive so customize organization organization name okay so I will look and to it and here it is I can find the organization name and it says search for an exact exact match sorry so what it will do is it will search for this exact company name in my pipe drive account and if the organization with such a name exists it will add that prospect to that organization and you can see on the bottom that it also asks us that create pipe drive organization if it doesn't exist so I will click here so if the organization does not exist in my account you should uh, create an organization and here in the details is it's asking us that who should be the owner so again I will select myself as the owner of the uh, okay so and again it's asking for uh, organization name so 
um, here here it is company name uh, we don't really provide uh, address details for the company in our leads so I will skip this or leave this as empty and here finally it is asking to the asking that um, to whom should this organization should be visible to so in this I will say that they are providing us two options that this organization should be visible to owners and followers or the entire company so I will select owners and followers and continue okay so test your connection uh, if an organization doesn't found everything seems right fetch and continue so this is searching or creating a test organization was sent to pipe drive just now so yep all the details so skip we can uh, we can go into the pipe drive and uh, look for organizations so Yeah, I can't find where should I find it. Okay, so it would be it would have been created. So I will come back to our person. Continue, and my account is already selected. Okay. Okay, so you can see that it has uh, taken the search step for the organization use a custom value and here uh, Step to organization. So value will be added from there directly um, Email So here it is in the catch hook. We provide an email ID for the prospect uh, We don't really provide the phone number for the prospect because not, you, you can s you would see that on LinkedIn uh, every prospects are not providing their phone numbers so we uh, we are not providing phone numbers in the sample data and so we will skip this as empty as you can see it's option okay so again it's asking me to visible to so again I'm going to select owner and followers and continue and I will select send test okay so and now I will turn this zap on okay so you can see zap is on now and I can go in here and you can see that George Rowe organization Duncan brand and his email ID also in here you can see that an organization Duncan brand has been created and books and enrolled in here there is one and the owner is Darshit over here okay so this was all about the sample data now I'm going to add some dynamic prospects in here so for that I need to go back to my lead connect extension go to sequences create a new sequence and let's say we give this uh, name as marketing managers marketing sorry uh, managers okay select type as invitation I will select turn on the Zapier and I only want uh, my prospects those have accepted my invitation so I will unselect uh, all of this and keep only this invitation accepted so now it asks us to define your target audience so for that we need to go to our uh, LinkedIn account and need to search for marketing managers okay in people and let's
let's say second degree connections and let's take the location as United States okay so there are some people whom already I have sent an invitation to but still we can uh, use this and it will send the invitation to the pending prospects where yeah here it is and I will paste this URL and hit enter and okay so here in the message I'm going to send a, a hello message so hello first name add and I will also send a follow-up message so in here I'm going to ask how are you and yeah the question mark and add um, and delay it ask that once connected connection is accepted wait for three days now I don't want to wait for three days I'm going to wait for one day and after one day it's uh, going to ask how are you and here it asks us uh, withdrawal request so if not accepted my connection withdraw this request within two days okay so save changes and I'm going to start this okay so I have started this sequence and slowly it will start uh, sending invitations to my list of prospects and it will take some time or you can say some hours until uh, some of the prospect accepts my invitation and we would be able to see the results here in the pipe drive context so till then I will pause this video and continue it uh, when I have received some prospects all right thank you okay welcome back so as you can see that the sequence has completed sending the invitations to 99 prospects and uh, now we will go to pipe drive and here you can see that the people are being enrolled over here and there are this organizations and their email IDs okay so this is how basically lead connect sends the contacts to pipe drive hope this video helps thank you